Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all well this fine day. Oh my god, it's all over. That's it. Pack up your bags. You're done, hero. Good job. Put your necklace away with your weapon from Legion and just basically go and kick back, relax, enjoy life because it's over. Yes, the cinematics are out. Nazoth has been defeated. Nylotha is gone. No more. The Black Empire has collapsed before it has even risen. Yes, we're talking about those cinematics. Fuck. Now, before we start, I want to just say these clips are all from the Wowhead YouTube page. Go and check them out if you want. They've got all of the various BFA cinematics for good, for bad. Oh, but I suppose there's no more beating around the bush. Let's start off with Rathion and Nazoth and get into this, shall we? It is darkness. We start with Rathion looking dashing like a cross between Jack Sparrow and the Prince of Persia. But with a little little sprinkling of dragon in there. I have not when he does that whole jumping turning into a dragon thing, where does the dagger go? Out of interest. Rather him than me, but I would also hold a jar of Vaseline in my hand if I was planning on doing that. But here we see! A little bit of Game of Thrones. Are you ready? It's the Night King! <laughs> yes! What is it with that fucking jump? In case you're wondering, hang on a minute. Isn't that the, yes, the Shadow Priest weapon that we apparently just discarded somewhere? We left it in a dumpster. Then we picked it up again from a Tortolan dude who was like, oh, do you want this? And we're like, yeah, sure. Then we took it to... Some weird looking vagina eyeball, and it was like, oh, thank you. Then we released the spirit from his side, and now we've got it because Ashara and that were all working all together the whole time. And I was really hoping we actually split it open that a tiny little, you know, like four inch high dude would be inside, like men in black just working levers. And that's it. That is the Rathion one. Fine. It's all good. I'm happy the Rathion's back. I'm happy we've got more development on this particular character, and they haven't gone fully ill done. He wasn't the one that sort of took it down and and he's now the savior he's still got a little dark sprinkling there's still much for him to atone for but i like the fact that we're focusing on a new character i have no problem with that that is good thank you for that bit of development on a favorite is, is always welcome and yes i am beating around the bush yes i am waffling because i really don't want to get to this bit i really don't let's do it come on in the final, the final raid cinematic. Remember, there's no 835. This is what we're getting. This is the end. This is the storyline combination. And we've got a little bit more to come with regards to the kind of end of the Alliance and the Horde feud, which should never have been a thing. But here we go. Oh no, Hero, we're, we're so full of corruption and evilness. What are, what are we ever going to do? Apparently, Magni's just going to talk to us. He's like, oh, Hero, you don't want to be doing that. All right, Hero. Yes, I can fight it. I can. Obviously, the cloak wasn't that good. I'm just saying we should have had another couple of levels on that cloak just to really protect us from the corruption. And... What is possibly going to happen? This is bad. I'm, ju I'm, I'm just going to shut up now because you can just watch it. I'm just going to shut up. And there you go. That is the fall of the Black Empire. Done. Dusted. Sorted. <laughs> it is much more... It's more uh, just so deflating. And I'm not... Uh, and that's it. Now, there is another cutscene which I'm not going to bother to... to to bore you with, where basically there's this whole speech about you not just being the champion of your faction, but you are the champion of Azeroth. Fantastic. Excellent. Great. Cheers for that. I was basically the focusing fucking Iris. They just pumped a load of shit through me and fired it out the neck, and that was it. I took it in one end and pumped it out the other. And I can't even say I'm particularly upset or dis... I'm disappointed, but... Purely because of what it could have been. There was so much potential. And there was so much... I was hoping... That they were going to weave through. That actually what you thought had happened... In these key events... Wasn't the case. I was hoping that we were going to get something like... 
the our war with the alliance all of these things that have happened have been manipulated by Nazoth that he has weaved this narrative through everything and Sylvanas had kind of yes he's seen through it but been privy to it because she'd seen something that we hadn't seen and made a far worse deal. Don't get me wrong, I'm not painting her to be the hero at all, but she had decided, well, do you know what? I'm going to find another way from this. I'm going to find a way. Like, let's say she burnt the tree down, and she was like, why did I do that? Because I didn't want to do that. Strategically, I should have captured it. What the hell went wrong? Or even way before that, because they talk about the Tidestone. They talk about how Ashara has gained the Tidestone. And she basically is just like, well, I won't be so foolish as to leave this unguarded. It would have been far more interesting if they had said, actually, what happened was Sylvanas turned around and said, I'll send my Death Guard to go and get the Tidestone. And they'd be like, Sylvanas, did you get the Tidestone? She's like, no, when we got there, it was just gone. I don't know what happened, but it was, in fact, Sylvanas that had taken the Tidestone and given it to Ashara. These little things could tie in and be interesting and, and just, ah, oh. You know, it would have been really good if Lady Ashrain had been you know, manipulating Catherine and Catherine had been, as in Catherine Proudmore, had been manipulated and, you know, her mind corrupted against Jaina by Nazoth. She already had mixed feelings inside. If he had a tweet on that, played on that, you know, if he had been playing on Lady Ashvane's arrogance and greed and just if he had been pulling the strings of everything and even having that we didn't necessarily win but we fought him back we pushed him back in this uh, in 8.3 we pushed him back but while we were in shadowlands he rose again you know his full power so it's the first god remember this is the first old god that's been truly free from their prison you know he, he could have been uh, as i say he could have been free and then while we were in shadowlands manipulating so when we come back through from the shadowlands to azeroth it's it's the Black Empire. It has literally risen. The whole south is the Black Empire. And it's slowly creeping on Stormwind and Ogrimmar. And th that's what we have to fight. That could have been the, the expansion afterwards. Tied through. Then you would have had a tie from Legion. With the Tidestone and everything else. Then you go through into BFA where the war is manipulated by Nazoth. Then you would had... Shadowlands, where we've gone through and we're seeing all these things, and we, we're yeah you know, we're seeing the bigger factors in the world or in the in the universe of Warcraft, you know where we've got the veil, we've got, sorry we've got like the void, we've got the light, we've got the Shadowlands, we've got all of these other factors, and we could have started exploring that, and just when we've we've kind of dealt with the death thing, as I say, we come back and it's the Black Empire, and we're like oh my god. All these things could have been so good. And then we get, you're a big fucking laser cannon up the arse and then you fire it out your neck. And that's it, done. And they've basically said now, all the old gods, that's it. You've defeated them all, it's done. The corruption's gone. So why wasn't this done previously? If the corruption could be cleansed, why was it just not cleansed? Why did we go through all this palaver? Why are we pushing them back in their prison? Why not just cleanse the corruption job done? There's still a giant sword sticking out of Azeroth. It's that classic thing where we're just done. There you go, hero. You're just done. The story is... is poof, there you go. Wasn't that nice? Oh, Sylvanas is running around somewhere. And oh, spoiler alert. Shara, she's running off doing something else. But everything's back to the way it should be. Isn't that great? Isn't that nice? It really... I said this in a video previously. That 8.3 is a mini expansion. You do a mini expansion on maybe Sylvanas ripping open the Shadowlands and you know, the Scourge 2.0 come flooding through or Minions of Death or whatever. So we have some corruption. We have, you know, the corruption's like seeping up from the from where we are. It's seeping up in Pandaland and Oldham and in the south. Booty Bay, we've got corruption. We've got corruption all over the place. And from the north, from Northrend, we've got the Scourge, this new Scourge 2.0 coming through. You know, the Necrolords, which is the army of the Shadowlands, are coming through from the north. Or the Jailers, you know, just, you could have had that as this mini expansion. You don't need to, you know, bust your nut on having Nazoth or any of that. No, 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 no. Keep that. Keep that back. 
you know, it was like, oh, we've got this dilemma of do we go to the Shadowlands or do we fight Nazoth? You know, and, and fight his minions. But Nazoth hasn't appeared yet. We, we just know that it's leaking out, this corruption's happening. And you're torn between do we go Shadowlands, do we stay, what do we do? And you get told you need to go to the Shadowlands. You know, like Bolvir, the, the Lich King, is basically going, you have to deal with the Shadowlands problem or we are fucked monumentally. It's game over. So you're like, all right. And you go through and you keep in the, in the then in the Shadowlands storyland, you would have these little ties, these little things about still stuff's going on in Azeroth. You still need to be aware of this. This is happening. This is developing. This is what's going on. You know, Hero, you're not needed for this. We're sending the Seventh Legion down to Oldham, down to Pandaria, whatever. But these areas, as the expansion's gone through, those areas could have fallen. Oh shit, we've just lost Stranglethorn Vale. Oh god, this has just happened. They're already at the, you know, the Southern Barrens. Yeah, and that's where we're making the horde are suddenly making their stand there. Like, here you gotta, you know, and that's like three quarters of the way through the expansion of Shadowlands, and we know that we're gonna have to come back and we're gonna have to deal with a full Nazoth. Almost the whole south of Azeroth is the Black Empire now, and, and is just despair and horrendous. Deathwing broke the fucking world when he came. Nazoth has done nothing. He has given me a mild migraine is all I can work out. This is... It's just disappointing. Because of the potential that was there. And the fact that all the old god stuff is just like... Bah, it's gone now. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm not an Alliance player. I'm a Horde player. But where is Illyria? Come on. Surely the Void Elves should have been front centre for this. If we're working together, and, and, and Alliance players, please tell me if she was, and I'm just missing the point. But surely now we're meant to be working together. You know, Alliance and Horde working together. Surely her insights into what's happening you know, would be crucial. She'd be able to tell us. It, this would have been a perfect opportunity for the Void Elves to come front and centre and to be part of the story. No. You know, can't... Uh, I, I, and that's that's literally the sound. That's it. That's what this feels like. This eight point three storage. Just like, ah, oh. I was really really annoyed by how huge lore characters were treated in BFA, and just generally the BFA storyline. Full stop, beginning to end, made no sense. The problem is the beginning of this story for Nazoth anyway. The old god storyline is so ingrained in WoW's history. That, that doesn't disappoint me. It's the delivery of this one. It's, oh, we just defeat him with this laser beam coming out of our bum. Or going into our bum and coming out of our neck. And it's just, that's it. That's what we get. Oh, I still like 8.3. I like the patch. I like the things I'm doing as a game. But as a story, 110%. Just stop. Okay, just story guys, just stop. You don't need to tell us, you don't need to talk to us. But stop, put your pens down, and just step back and take a look at BFA. And say to yourself, is this our best work? Is this all it could be? Did we really go through and tie all these things together well enough? Did we do that? Do we think that we could have done better with the Tidestone was just kind of left there? Uh, the dagger was just kind of... Uh, Tortolan dude's got it now. It's this super powerful thing, but Tortolan's got it because he found it in a dumpster. Really? Because, no offence, but that's... Well, Danny just somehow forgot. That's Dan and Dave shit from Game of Thrones. Wow, Warcraft 3, I mean, it's... Its story is so much at its heart. It's so much one of the reasons why so many people love it. The Lich King, for God's sake. We're about to go into Shadowlands and we're about to meet these amazing characters again. We're going to meet Sunstrider. We're going to meet fucking, oh, the Lightbringer. We're going to meet all these characters again and more. And yet, I'm suddenly worried that we're going to get really cheesy crap. Or we're just going to get what is the current trend, which is, you know, Star Wars... Let's just completely change how these characters would act and think. You know, it's Kilthar Sunstrider now, like, Hello, children! You know? It's just like, what the hell happened to him? He's completely different. Because it suits them to do that? Oh, oh. I don't know. As I say, I'm disappointed 
not necessarily in the storyline because it hasn't developed long enough, which is a shame because potentially more old god storyline could have been amazing. A old god walking among us, <sighs> the potential for that is incredible, and is a whole expansion on its own. I'm just kind of, as I said, I keep making the noise of like, and that really does sum up how I feel. Gameplay, I'm enjoying it, but Nazoff deserved more than a mini one-patch expansion. Just to stop BFA from continuing. Just to try and make us forget BFA. It deserved more than that. That's, uh, that's me done, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully on to brighter and brighter things tomorrow, but today we shall lament the fall of the Black Empire and all it could have been. Have a good one, everybody, and I'll talk to you later.